everyone, welcome to your Wednesday watch and today we are going from prep right to polish. We are doing it all in this one. So we are, you're going to watch me prep these nails as I am now. I'm just pushing back that cuticle off of the nail plate. It is sped up a little bit this video today because it's all the same. It's quite repetitive. Um, so I felt you can you can see there's, there's five of them. Well, actually, I'm only filming four because well, we don't do thumbs. Um, so I have pushed back the cuticle. I'm just going in and nipping any nasties out of my way. And then I will go in with my metal file. Um, I do use um, a sanding band sometimes, but I just prefer to use a file when I am removing the surface shine from the nail. I can get right down into them side walls and I'm going to be using the 150 side of my file. Um, I'm going to be sculpting, so I'm removing the corners from the free edge of the natural nail and removing the surface shine. Um, you'll all have your own filing routines, but I normally do around the sides and then work the middle, just as I do when I'm finishing filing as well. So I try not to miss anything. If you've got like the same routine, then you tend to not miss areas because each one should be the same. Um, so I do this on all the nails and then when I'm happy, I then do go in and I wipe it with acetone. It dehydrates the nail plate, it cleans the nail plate and it also tells me if I've missed anywhere with my file because it all should go nice and cloudy. If anything is still shining back at me, then I need to go back in with my file. Um, it just takes a couple of seconds, but I know that I have done the best that I can. So when this Susan fucks off home with her nails and she tells me, Kai, my nails come off after two days, I'll be like, you liar. I did everything, everything in my power. My prep was perfect. Um, I put so much into my prep. So yeah, that little, little thing of just wiping it over with some acetone. I know I don't need to do it. Probably don't need to do it. Just, just, just dust it with a brush but I just do a little bit extra um, so that this Susan cannot come back at me. Not today, bitch. This isn't a Susan. This person is lovely. She is a fellow nail tech people. She's one of our own. Um, and she comes to me at Christmas and holiday and special occasions to get her nails done. And today these nails are off to Mauritius. But these, these fingers might be coming back with a little bit of diamonds. You know, we might be getting engaged people. That's what I'm trying to say here. I don't know how else I could explain that, but it's possible we could be getting engaged. So I'll update you next time. Or, or they won't. Or she won't get engaged. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, we've gone for a nice classic design. Fitting those forms, like I've said in the past, I've got loads of videos online to teach you how to fit forms. Um, we're going to go for a ballerina shape. Like I said in, in the past videos, make sure that your form is as narrow as the natural nail plate. That's all you're getting from me, people. Um, so yeah, just pull it in as natural as that nail plate. Next, I am just priming the natural nails. I'm using an acid primer from Nail Nails. Um, yeah, I, I get on really well with this one. I love it. So that's what I'm using. And then we're going to go in and do 10 fucking French. 10. Well, you're only going to see four because I'm not showing your thumbs. Um, but yeah, we're going for 10 French because these are possible, possibly engagement nails. Um, yeah, poor Ray. She's going to be gutted if she comes back with, I don't know, just a suntan and possibly COVID. Oh, I hope it's not. I hope we get, I hope these... I felt a lot of pressure doing them. Um, like pink and white isn't pressured enough, but yeah, I kept thinking, oh my God, these nails could be held up over a Mauritius sunset above the sea, um, hopefully with an engagement ring on, but I will update you when I find out. 
Um, so yeah, so pink and white, it's feared by many. Okay, I am sculpting it on the form today. You would have seen that I, before I went in and did my pink one, which is plush cover from Glitterbells, the first thing I do is pick up a tiny bead of clear. And I'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing on the next couple of nails. But that bonds the fingernail to the form. That clear bonds it together. So that when I come in to shape my smile lines, it doesn't budge. Because a lot of time you go to go and file your smile line and your form fucks off and goes on a wonk. So by just putting this little bead of clear. So teeny tiny bead. Okay, I'm going to get control on the back of the towel. And then placing it at the free edge. Tip of the brush, I'll stretch it across the nail until I'm happy. And then just short, sharp pulls down. It doesn't matter if it goes a bit wonky. Try and keep it into the shape that you're going to be doing. But it's it's just there to just bond it together a little bit, okay? It will also, when you come in and pinch, which we will, you'll see me now, get my pinching tool and start to pinch um, the little finger. But when you come in with that pinching tool, it will start to obviously pull the product in and start to create that shape that you want. So as it pulls in at the cover pink, it will pull in the rest of the form. So that clear that has already been applied will set into the shape that you need as well. So you'll have that C curve there for any shape that you're creating. Um, yeah, it's there. So people ask, when is the perfect time to pinch? It all depends on your environment and your products that you're using. Um, your client, if she's a real tepid bitch, then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna set quicker. If she's really hot, then yeah, it's gonna set quicker. If the environment around you is warmer, it's gonna set quicker. And again, if it's cooler, it's gonna be slower. So me, for in my house, I know that, you see, I'll do this nail, I'll come to the middle finger, and once I've just done the smile line, so I'll come now to this next one, once I've done the first part of it, so I'll put the clear on, I'll do the first part of the smile line, I'll then know that that ring finger is ready. And that just works for me. I've got into that little rhythm. I know that the speed that I take at that point, the nails are pretty much, they're ready to go. Um, but you can just touch the nail as long as there's no stickiness, there's no movement, so you don't want it to fall like if you were to squeeze it and it was to collapse because you're going to you're gonna ruin the structure that you have worked hard to create by your perfect form fitting. Um, so yeah, so you don't want it to f um, fall, like, so you don't want it to collapse within itself. You don't want it to be sticky. If you can feel the heat from the polymerization, then yay, that is it. Get that pinching tool on. Um, the deeper you go with it, the stronger the pinch it's going to be. Lots of people are taught to sculpt and not to pinch. What the fuck? Yes, you can create C curves with your just with your forms if you can do it correctly, but you're not doing any damage. It, oh god! It, oh. Get the pinching tool on. Get that structure. Get that C curve. Get it. Get it. Get it on. Okay, I've got to go for a lie down. That's really getting me angry. Really
Right, so that pointless little bit of clear acrylic, what was it there for? This is what it was there for. It is bonded it all on so that when I come in with my metal file to crisp up my smile lines, it won't budge. Trust me, trust me, trust me. That little bit of clear will mean that you can do your pink and whites on your form easy peasy and not just pink and whites if you want to work on the form and you, you know you don't want to do your clear base just put that little bit just to bond them together it really does work love it um so we're going to be in a minute we're going to come in with a white and we're going to be using sugar tips glitter um favorite love it fan freaking tastic with this um we just wanted it subtle we didn't want it too bloody bridal did we you know, we're, we're, we're giving hints, but we don't want to scare the guy. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using in a bit. And yeah, I... Oh, oh, guys, thanks for the goats. Yeah, that was so funny. Can I just say, you really helped me as well. By everyone just putting a goat last week. Um, I had more views on my videos than ever I like and it was only a couple oh would you hear that i moved my bum i got really excited oh! honestly you really did help me by just putting a goat who'd have known um so all those marvel addicts um you know what i mean i think i'm gonna put another one in this video um so please hunt it out i what i looked at every single one and if you notice i did put an instagram post with a goat thank you honestly honestly thank you so much it, it is great so maybe i'm gonna i'm gonna hide a few little marvel um things again so yeah if you watch till the end of the last video you'll know what i'm on about if not you're thinking she's fucking off on one again she is rambling um so yeah oh, oh i can't thank you enough thank you so much guys so there will be there'll be more hidden stuff because i, I do like to waffle on don't i um so yeah, I'm gonna come in and and hide other things that you, if if you could, if you would, it really does, really did help me. It, I think it helps people to find me as well. So yeah, thanks. <sighs> right, stop gushing, guy. I'm just gonna go and fucking have a cold shower and change my pants. But anyway, back to the nails. So we're going in with the um the white. What I'm doing, I'm picking up that bead of white, dipping it into my glitter a little bit. And then working it onto the nails. And then before it has set, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just, oh, I'm just, I don't know what I was doing. Um, before it has set, I then go in and put sugar tits on it as well. So it, it's, yeah, not just mixing the acrylic. I'm laying it on top as well. And then I have to cap it all as well. It was, um, yeah, beautiful. Um, I don't know what to say really. Yeah. I'm gonna um I'm gonna let you watch it. So yeah. Don't forget ballerina shape, you have gotta keep that straight lower arch. Lovely straight lower arch. The shape of this ballerina is created from the form, not from my brush or my file, from the form. Um also another big thank you as well. I've had a few more orders from people overseas um since I've reduced the prices. Um spoke to my post office lady she's been very kind to me and uh the prices have gone down a bit so i can reflect that back to you guys so yeah loads of people in america canada our australia and germany so thank you it means that it can get out there a little bit more um and just know that when you get that order it hasn't gone to a big company where they've printed it off and a load of minions have gone around on forklift trucks if anybody ever thought that get it out of your head that's not the case the actual story is that everything is done from my garage at my house and i make my children stick the labels on so if any of them are wonky just um email archie and teddy and uh take it up with them um but yeah i bottle a label i pack every single order every order that you receive i've fingered it yeah yeah, I'm going to leave that with you. So that's why it means so much to me. And that's why I gush a little bit. And yeah, it really does. Right, I've got to go because I've got, I've got, I've got to have cold yeah, and I probably gush in today. I've got to go. Bye, right, love you, bye.
So when I'm happy with all that, I've just got to cap it all in clear. Um, if you're just doing pink and white, you wouldn't bother. But because I've got that little bit of sparkle and I worked it really thin, I'm just building it up with the clear. I'll do that on all of them, making sure everything is structurally perfect. And then I'm done. I'll wait for it all to uh, cure. I'll take my forms off. You'll get to see that. I'll take my forms off. And what else you're going to see in this? I am going to go in with an e-file um, where I just take down a little bit of the bulk. And then I'm going to watch me with my metal file um, just to make them absolutely perfect. And yeah, and then I'm done. At the end of finish my set as well, you will notice that I wipe the nail with something. What is it? Acetone again. It's going to remove the dust and the crap and the, any more scratches that might be on the nail before top coating. And that's it really. Don't be scared of the pink and white, okay? Um, there's nothing to be scared really. When you're sculpting, when I bring down that um, cover pink part, I pull each one down to a certain number or a certain length. And the same with the white, so I know roughly where I'm going, but I do a lot of it by eye as well. So that's hard to say how I do that because I got a wang eye as well. So maybe that, maybe that is the secret with a wang eye. I have double vision, and I can't see in three D. Maybe that is why I, yeah, that's why I've done it. Maybe I can do it because I've got a dicky eye. I don't know. I don't know if that's scientific or anything, but something to look into. No pun intended, people. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I am going to go because looking at the clock, um, my kids are waiting for me to get them off the school bus. Yay. So, yeah, thank you all. Um, I will be back again next Wednesday. Or a little bit sooner, if you know what I mean. Winky, winky.
Avengers Assemble. So anybody who's waited for the Marvel credits, yay you, you're my favourite people. Um, and just to get everyone guessing, like, what? Oh, Arch Archie's here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, is this a good idea, Archie, doing this thing? Where they have to find uh, yeah, the emoji. Getting loads of subscribers. See, Arch like Archie tells me what I have to do because he's cooler than I am on how to do my YouTube. He's way cooler than me, he says. Anywho, so yeah, if you're still listening, you're the best people. And yeah, you really did help me last week. So can we try and do it again? Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. The emoji that you could pop up is maybe an engagement ring or anything, whatever you think. But. What? Because this is possibly an engagement set, Archie. Um, well, can you think of a better emoji? Uh, well, I don't know what that means. Just go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, maybe the engagement ring. And people will be like, why is everyone putting an engagement ring? And, well, they'll have to listen, won't they? So, yeah, that really did help my page last week. And, yeah, I can't thank you enough. You've probably turned me off already anyway. But if you haven't, thank you. If you don't already, please subscribe. It's another way to help the channel or share it. Tell a friend. Log in on your granny's account and subscribe. I'd be really chuffed. Um, but if not, I'll see you again next Wednesday for another crazy ramble. Okay, I love you all. Bye.